Yeah, guys, what's up? We are on the move again. We heading down further south from Lamone. And, you know, I'm about to get you guys some good things to watch as we are here on the bus on our way there. Feel me? All right, guys, so after spending some time in Lamone and meeting with Dremon and Dremon showing me around Lamone, he wanted to show me more of Lamone. He wanted to show me Porto Viejo because he has some significant history and upbringing within Porto Viejo. For those who don't know, Porto Viejo de la Talamanca is a coastal town in the Limon province along the Costa Rica's southern Caribbean coast. It is well known for its vibrant Afro-Caribbean culture, crystal clear beaches, and lush tropical surroundings. It is a popular tourist destination for backpackers, surfers, and ecotourists. Puerto Viejo is famous for its relaxing vibe, reggae music, and stunning natural scenery, making it one of the most visited places in the Caribbean region of Costa Rica. What is going on, y'all? Yeah, once again, this is Nate from Nate No State. Back at you with another video. Guys, I am on an epic journey to really check out a lot here in Costa Rica. And I've just arrived here with Dremon in Puerto Viejo. That's where we are. Puerto Viejo. Puerto Viejo. Olavo. Okay, okay. So what, what what can you what can you tell me about Puerto Viejo while we're here? Puerto Viejo. And the tourist zone, tourist uh -huh. zone now. Okay. American, Europeans, Latins. Uh, so they just like this spot for sure. Yeah. How can you see the bread we are speaking about? Yeah, I just that's said it. it. I smelled it. I said, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Okay, that's it. Man. Okay. See what Hard dough bread is here. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. They have it there. Okay, I smell it over there. Yeah, you're at the patty too. They have it there. Jamaican people, we all over, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that smell real nice. It smell like the, the same thing as I remember. Same yeah. Jamaican hard dough bread. It smell the same. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, so Ghana and all that. There we go. Old Hortown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamaica flag right there. Dang, this is a huge tourist spot. We got... Sheesh. Okay. We got these things too. I remember seeing these around. Yeah. Tutu. Tutu. Yeah. Tutu. yeah. Mm -hmm. Same in India and other places. Tutu. Now I definitely see why it is a touristy spot for sure. All right. Gracias. The huge tourist zone. I see it. Cabanas and everything, man. And it's right there by the beach. But there's there might be a lot of reef there because I see the stone. Yeah. Only this piece here on that side is reef. Got gotcha. you. Then from here go back to the beach. Ah. Uh, the sun go all the way to where they call Black Beach. Ah, uh, got gotcha. you. Yeah. So you see why it's a harbor? It's a harbor. Watch yourself, watch yourself, bro. I see how it's a harbor, man. Train guy, harbor waiting with the cleaning. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Respect. Rest back. All the people that dropped the beer bottle in all over the place. All right. Oh, she's still wearing that shiki. There's a someone been eating a whole lot of coconut, man. Yeah, <laughs> Dang, for real. 
Nice. Got a view over there. Looking real nice. Yeah, my brother just not respond. Yes. Yeah, he just not respond. <laughs> so, yeah, it's two hours ahead, so I'm not sure. Because he work, he works remotely too, so he usually work throughout the night and then sleep during the day. That's him. So, yeah, he's just not getting back. Which means he probably just woke up. All right. That's mine, all right? Nice. I like this is nice, but I to be honest so far, I still think uh, San Juan de Sul and Nicaragua I like that much much more. Nicaragua. So Nicaragua, San Juan de Sul. But this definitely has a more tropical feel for sure. You like it man, cool. See he told me all like this. Yeah. And granted we all Really early, so nothing to open it. Yeah, nothing to open yet. We're good. Okay. The fresh mango juice now. Okay. No, 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 no. Keep it. Keep it. Let's see, all right. Tiki bar and all them. Yeah, there's a lot of people walking up and down and around. Yeah. Let me watch this man over here. So. Oh yeah, it's in English. You already know. You already know what this town is all about. It's in English. <laughs> Spanish school and hotel. Yep. Yeah. This is they definitely trying to bank off of that. Two toots and oh the bus, the bus. You can get off the bus way. Yeah. That's another bus, huh? Yeah. We're going back to Lamont. Uh-huh. Gotcha. So I got Indian street food over here. Everybody set up shop. Okay, respect. The gentlemen them clean up the street. Make sure the store spot stays touristy. Only papers. Only papers. Everything else that's borrowed die um degradable. Like the coconut stay in the ground. No, they will clean up after. They'll pick up the coconut after? Yeah, after they clean it up. Mm. This is a basketball court. Ah, oh, you can rent a bike then. Yeah, I believe. Now it's okay. So. We have two more towns to mm. go and see. You know? Okay. Yeah, so we'll go. It's a better deal if we go on a cycle, we go down. And yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, man. This is the black sand now. I didn't get a piece of um, a plastic, so I can take some of the sand with me oh, and see okay. why I have black sand. But this is this is regular sand so far. That's the regular sand. The black sand is over there. Yeah. You see, like it's mixed. Oh, actually, no. Mixed. Some, yeah, yeah, see. Yeah. I have um. No, but we could get a bag last day. I got a bag. I realized it's my water in the bag, but I can take the bag. I guess no, at the end of the day, when we leave. Yeah, before we leave, we get a bag. Yeah, I'm going to take a piece of that sand. People are like, oh, what's, what you got? Tia say, they were like, what you got over there? So I, I just got sand, bro. I'm, I got rocking sand. But like I mentioned earlier, the sand over here is black and they call it Playa Negra, which translates to black beach. And I've never seen black sand before from... A kid in the Bronx, born to Jamaican parents, always living in New York, going someplace different, seeing black sand. I wanted to take some of the sand with me. And I'm pretty sure it has some medicinal purposes or whatever have you, but the sand is black. And this is what I found out the reason why the sand is black. It is a result of volcanic activity. So volcanic eruptions, particularly from nearby regions, 
release the lava and other volcanic minerals, which over time breaks down into fine particles. And these particles are rich in minerals like magnetite and basalt, giving the sand a dark black color. So any other thing that it might be good for, it might be good as a scrub, who knows? But you already know about that volcanic ash, y'all. But keep in mind that when the volcanic materials are carried by rivers or ocean currents, they are deposited along the coastline, creating the black sand beaches. So unlike white sand, which is primarily composed of coral and shell fragments, black sand is denser and has like a distinct look and texture to it. So it's worth noting that black sand beaches are less common worldwide, which makes Playa Negra a special attraction in Puerto Viejo. So tell me again. Yeah. So the thing about the areas yeah. and all that? All right, so they didn't have the vision. So they, this was a town, a big farm, and everybody had a local spot, and you know. Right. So what happened? They never project for the future. Mm -hmm. So see the little street? Mm -hmm. Just three meters. Yeah. Just three meters. Because it was just a little walk from like this neighbor pass and another neighbor pass, you know? Right. So is it why the street's not so wide? Uh, large, it's also wide. Yeah. And you have many like them is that like that in in in, um, in the town here. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright, thanks for sharing that. Alright, yeah. This is very unconventional. I am taking a bike <laughs> while we exploring. Ah, Puerto Viejo. The uh, tourist, super touristy town of Costa Rica. Only a Nate in your state. <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time I feature a bike again on my channel. Puerta Uba? Punta Uba. Punta Uba. Great point. Great. Great. Oh, Punta Uba. Great point. Grape Point, Punta is Point, Uba is Grape. We're going to Grape Point. We're going to pass another one, you say? For peace. For peace. For peace. peace. All right. Best way to travel, if it's not a scooter, is one of these. So if you just noticed, we are biking throughout Puerto Viejo, going from town to town. Biking is one of the most common and more or less eco-friendly ways to explore Puerto Viejo. The town is relatively small and the road, the main roads connecting the beaches and attractions are flat, making it easy to bike around. And there is various places where you can rent a bicycle. It's also useful if you want to go to another town, which could be quite a few miles ahead. And it's recommended as a way of traveling because you can move at your own pace. You can stop at beaches, cafes, or markets along the way. You can do some walking, but I promise you, you're not walking from town to town. Though you will see people walking from town to town, it's quite the distance. And these places, you're going to be walking in some forest and jungle too. So it's like... Uh, the roads are there, but it's quite the walk. So I do recommend if you want to go around, you can do the biking. Uh, you could also take a taxi or if you have a chauffeur around, you can do that from town to town. There is a bus system here, but I hardly saw a bus come around when I was on the bike, possibly because I guess the time of day or the day of the week. So you can do that. You can rent a car or you can do the toot toots, motorbikes or scooters. That would be your most optimal method if you want to go in and out someplace fast with speed and you have a little bit of flexibility i would do the scooter but we did the bicycles and i thought it was a pretty tranquil transportation method right i didn't hear what you said a what hot plum hot plum what's hot plum was a stick We'll see it again? Yeah, yeah. All right. This is hot plum. Hot plum. Yeah, sour. A sour fruit. What What do you What do you do with it? You make honey. Okay. Make honey, uh, you, and you make um, helados. So honey and ice cream? Ice cream. Got you. Yeah. 
Honey and ice cream. Anything Honey else? You don't. You don't make juice with it, at least, no. I make them juice. Yeah, okay, you can juice, juice it, juice. but it's 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 sour acid, though. Yeah, very sour. I got you. Yeah. Bugs, okay. no, no bug on it. All right, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this <laughs> hog plum. Actually, it's not so bad. It's fine. Yeah, good taste. It reminds me of um what we have in Jamaica, guinep. Are you know guinep? Yeah, yeah. The green. Yeah. But um, that one's sweet. That one's sweet, but this one is a little sour. Then we have another one. A red guinep. Yeah, next big. I need to see that one. It's sweet. I need to see that one. Okay. In graph, we got it in graph guinep. Okay. Is it the one that has the hairs on it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I had it. I had that one. You taste it? I taste it. I like okay. it. Good, it's huh? sweet, yeah. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. When you start, you can't stop. Yeah, <laughs> you can't stop, man. I hear you. Until the bug finish. Yep. <laughs> for for one kilo, um, one, one meal, <laughs> one meal for one kilo. In a tropical area like this, you're bound to encounter some wildlife too. So throughout Costa Rica and especially in this area, it has been said that you'll find some sloths, monkeys, chameleons, sea turtles, poison dart frogs, various types of birds, crocodiles, and all that other good stuff. Caterpillars. For those that are interested in knowing about the wildlife, because think about it, the location that you're in. It's next to it's next to Kualita that has a national forest that is good for those who are bird watchers or for those who like to go to like national state parks. Though I have never seen a sloth while I was here, it has been said that they are here and oftentimes they find themselves on the street and we know that these sloths move very, very slow. So the thing that I would have to advise you guys, if it looks bright and colorful, stay away from it because you can tell that can be either poisonous or something that you know can be very detrimental to your health like the poison dark frog you know they are brightly colored right and they're found in the tropical rainforest i'm not here to scare you but i'm just saying for those who are interested in the wildlife or things within that nature just be careful because poison dark frogs they have the poison the venomous stuff on their skin and now look from spotters big man Look at that caliper. It's all fuzzy. This next part is bumpy. The beach is right next to it. Oh, it smells like Jamaica. You said this is this is where you grew up? No, no, that's only my father's house. Oh, your father's house. Yeah, I know him when I was 22 years. Oh, when you're 22 years old, you know him. Yeah, I know. He has a fig tree, I see. A little fig plant. Oh, papaya, I mean. Papaya, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Papaya, guava. Let's see it. Mango. Oh. There's a whole heap of mosquito I see, too. Yeah. Mosquito, I see them, too. Ah, right. And here. Wow, these are some good waves, my gosh. Yeah, this is this is not for kids. <laughs> you have to hold him. Some really good waves, man. This is the same old great time. Punta Uvas. Punta Uva Beach. Wow, I'll, I definitely will remember this in the future. Real. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. The waves really come out. Where we went in before, we, 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 we will be around that side. Okay. Yeah, this more large there. This large, all the way. All right. They uh, dive up lobster here a lot. Huh? Lobster. They dive lobster. Oh, here lobsters here. here. Yeah. And, and the guys they like to dive in the night. Like to go at night to go fish uh, for lobster? Yeah. They got crab in here or just only lobsters here? Lobster and crab. Fish. Okay. Oh, Punta like Uva. I don't like that none at all. 
Nothing at night. Yeah. Everything, anything could happen. Question, why there's so much burnt wood here? Hey, so much? Yeah, it's burnt. I see that's burnt over there, burnt too. I, I could be they use it as um for, for cook. Okay, that's nice. It got the nice beach smell too. Smell like a real beach. You can see a lot of gated houses like that as well. And got the um the pine tree and the bamboo covering it, making it look nice. Okay, German, I see you. You caught up. <laughs> we keep the pace. That's what we do. Yeah. Bungalows. The bungalows hotels, where you live in bungalows, here in Punta Punta Uva, Punta Uva, Great Point. Tell me about this side of the beach. The other side of Great Point, Great Point, we call it. Punta Uva. We jump through the, the the piece of rock, the highland, you know, and we call it the bluff. Which one? Which, Which piece? piece of rock here? Yeah, you Punta call it the what? Yeah, we call it the bluff. The what? Bluff, bluff, bluff. Why you call it the bluff? That's what I say. I don't know. That didn't mean anything. <laughs> so, what do you like about this side versus the other uh, side? This, the sea always cool. Uh huh. Um, it, um, it's a better spot for the children to bathe. Okay. It's not so deep. Not so, so deep. deep yeah. All right. Guys, as you really much can see, the waves are kind of like, it's a rip currents. The second you pop onto the sand, you're you're in pretty much territory, wave territory, man. Voila. Voila. Yeah, man. You can see wreckage of stuff. And yeah, once again, all of this connects to the beach where people just out there chilling. Mm. No trash, please, they say. What else can you find up in this piece? Again, I think this is almonds. I'm not too sure. This is dope, man. Something I even imagine. Yes, it's a jungle. You see how big those spiders are? They ain't playing. See if I can get one good picture. Oh, this little jungle we got going on. Aquí como ven, siguiendo eso, esa tienda. Ah, pero si ya la salida. Salen a la playa de una vez. Salen a la playa, a la otra. ¿Por dónde entraron ustedes? Por la otra playa. ¿De la otra playa? Sí. Ah, bueno, sí, nada más siguen este mismo camino y salen a la otra playa. Ah, ok. Y cuando llegan abajo, hacia la izquierda, vuelven de nuevo a la. Ah, ok, al trillo. Sí, sí. Gracias. No, lo que es el camino. Cuando ustedes bajan, ahí van a ver los carros. Está ahí. Ok. Gracias. Sí. So they lost. It's a grave. Mr. Ansel. Mr. Ansel. Mr. Ansel, was one of the first men in that come to this place here, man. Oh. Yeah. Oh, in 1964, right? Just had two years when he died. That's not that long. No. Oh. Uh, 60 years ago, 59 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. There's another beach that we found that's along this, uh, I'm gonna mess up, butcher the name, Manzanillo area, where you got um, fishermen as well, people in the beach playing, and black sand mixed with the white sand, too. Interesting beach. I mean, pretty chill. Waves are pretty dope. Um, strong Caribbean vibes, a lot of Rasta colors, and Marcus Garvey representation, Bob Marley representation, and there is a soccer field on the other end. Yeah, man, Caribbean coast here in Costa Rica, man. Oh, it's a nice part, and you go up in the jungle over there, so. All right. Okay. 
pretty much for this part, I didn't really record too much. This is where I got to meet most of his other family members. And I wasn't just going to put them in camera like that. You know, I'm just meeting them for the first time. Maybe sometime in the future when we come back, then I'll be able to get some interviews and talk with them a lot more. But yeah, man, Jamaican folk are out there. He introduced me to other folk then that he knows, other people, the man is there on the grill. Then he let me meet someone that he knows that is pretty much a host at one of the restaurants where they're doing the jerk chicken. It was a great vibe overall. Yeah, guys, after all of that, I am heading back towards Puerto Viejo after touring these areas, pretty dope. If you haven't seen it already, the crossing signs for like armadillos, uh, frogs, um, chameleons, sloths, all them animal nature, you might see them. I have yet to encounter them, but they're here, they say. So we're that's, looking. Okay, that's the fifth best perfume in the world. Langi Lang. Langi Lang. Yeah. It's a perfume. When we go perfume to, plant. When we go to Tortuguero, you will see. They have a lot of it. All right, hopefully we find it. Once again, y'all, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this location? Is, have you ever been here? Would you ever come here? What do you think about the views and everything else, the animals, everything that was saw today? Let me know down in the comment stream below. Thank you once again for rocking with me. Keep eating, keep exploring. I'll get you guys in the next one, all right, peace. Nate, in your state.